YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Chat today, and bringing a brand new video. What you guys are gonna be watching is a detour domination gameplay. Uh, something that I really don't really bring to you guys too often because this is a public match, uh, exclusively that. It's not league play. Uh, you're not watching hardpoint, CTF, or search and destroy like you would normally see on my channel. And and that actually brings me to the point that I'm gonna be talking about throughout this entire video is that Call of Duty Ghosts is not going to include league play, and that is very concerning for me, just because that's really all I do on black ops 2 that's how i spend all my time uh i don't enjoy public matches that much just because uh there's just too many different variables that can really make you upset and frustrate you uh for me who's been playing call of duty since 2008 and the amount of time that i actually do put into this game uh being killed by like c4 or claymore or somebody rpging me from behind uh, it's just very frustrating. I know that kind of sounds like I'm complaining about the actual basis of Call of Duty and the way the game is played. Uh, but when you are used to playing competitively with competitive rule sets where we ban uh, certain weapons, we only play certain game types, and we only play on certain maps that really work well uh, for those game types, uh, it gets really, really frustrating playing when, like I said, you know, if I'm on like a 15 kill streak and then I get blown up by a C4. Uh, it's just something that just aggravates me down to my core and down to my soul. Uh, I, honestly, I know a lot of you who don't really follow the competitive scene might seem like I'm just being a bitch and complaining, which I completely agree. I am complaining. Uh, I don't disagree with that. Uh, just when you put so much time into something and you're used to playing a certain way, it's very hard to change that and get it accustomed to something else. So that's why I am really, really worried about Call of Duty Ghosts is because I'm really kind of curious as to how I'm going to spend my time. Uh, Black Ops 2 really changed the way we play the game competitively. You guys know I've talked about this in so many videos and time and time again, uh, but I just kind of want to reiterate the fact that uh, the support that Treyarch has shown for Black Ops 2 w when they included Codcaster and they included League Play and that they supported our rule sets. Uh, like, for instance, in MLG, and uh, we use a certain rule sets that ban weapons and equipment, and we only play on certain maps and game types. I said that earlier. Uh, but Treyarch actually took those and implemented it into league play what you guys are playing on league play isn't just some random maps and game types that's actually what we use uh at tournaments so uh for track to add that into their game and to make it just so universal for everybody that plays it that's why we grew exponentially uh they also with activated and supported call of duty uh championships which we had this year uh that was huge for us and it just helped everybody grow exponentially. I mean, I went from having like 100,000 followers on Twitter and I launched all the way up to 300,000 uh, during the course of Black Ops 2. And, and same goes for YouTube, guys. I started with like probably around 250 to 300,000 subscribers at the beginning of Black Ops 2. And I'm all the way up to 800,000. And I really do appreciate that, guys. You have no idea. I, I mean, I tell you guys every day. Uh, but I really do attribute a lot of that success, not only from your guys' support, uh, but the support that Treyarch showed for our game. Because it allowed me to do what I love, competitive Call of Duty, and do that every day on my live stream and my channel, which I'm not going to be able to do with Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, they've done multiple interviews where they've denied the fact that it's going to be in the game. And so kind of what they're going off of as their alternate for league play or their competitive kind of game type, uh, they're going to have something called Clan Wars. I don't know the exact details of it, so I don't want you guys to sit here thinking that I know exactly what I'm talking about. But for the most part, what I think it's going to be or what would make sense is that you have certain clans or you have your set clans. You guys can make a, a clan name, invite members, probably have like six to ten players in those clans. And then you play games and gain experience. And that really uh, puts you on like a leaderboard or a ranking system uh, with those clans. Uh, so I would imagine that's how it works. Uh, like I said, though, that really, I mean... The fact that they'll have that is is cool, but I just don't think that it makes sense or works uh, compared to league play because uh, you'll be playing public matches. I, I mean, they're not going to have uh, set rule sets or game types. I don't I don't think anyways. Like I said, uh, I don't need the exact details, so I can't really speak on that. Uh, so I'm sorry if what I'm saying is inaccurate, but I'm just going off of what I heard kind of hearsay, which isn't really good reporting or I'm not really a journalist or journalism. So um, 
I would just imagine that's how it's gonna be so it's gonna be hard for me it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to get used to uh, because when I hop on League play and I do make my videos you guys know uh, one of the popular series that I've done is road to master division that's all league play uh, also a lot of my videos are are gameplays from game battles matches which actually I'm kind of happy about because I mean in Modern Warfare 3 we didn't have League play we didn't have those things so what I was basically doing was just uh, playing competitively the entire time I was playing game battles matches I was doing tournaments tournaments I was going to events which which I really do enjoy so I'm kind of excited about that to come back for Call of Duty Ghosts because uh, public matches just really aren't my thing uh, that's not how I enjoy spending my time and it's just it's gonna be different there's gonna be a lot of change and I, I hope that I can get used to it and I hope that you guys still do follow competitive Call of Duty I hope that's not something that you guys kind of stray away from just because it's not actually in the game that you're playing uh, hopefully that you guys still continue to enjoy our streams and enjoy the tournaments and the entertainment that we bring to you guys so I just don't want you guys to let Call of Duty Ghost change your mind on competitive Call of Duty because I still am going to beat it into your heads every single day because that's what exactly what I'm passionate about that's what I love and that's what I'm going to continue to do now this gameplay itself I, I still like I'm in awe that I was able to get this because uh now that I have my stream set up downstairs in the living room I find myself just casually playing just for fun you know not recording not streaming and uh not doing anything like that I was just playing and I, I ended up playing very very well and I got into it I, I got my my dogs my swarms quite a few times uh I ended up choking the nuclear but uh this is probably one of the best clubs that I've ever gotten so uh if you guys are enjoying the gameplay please uh don't be afraid to like comment and subscribe uh, all of you guys support really helps me out and I, I really do appreciate you guys uh, day in and day out watching my videos uh, if you guys are watching this right now on the 21st of September uh, we are actually live streaming uh, at twitch.tv slash MLG play so if you guys want to come check us out and watch um, if you are trying to watch from a mobile mobile device you are gonna have to go to majorleaguegaming.com and it should work for you there uh, we have been streaming on uh, MLG's platform quite a bit uh, because a lot of people are saying that we don't support MLG and what they've been doing for Call of Duty so we're trying to help them out uh, we're doing some testing for them for viewership and things like that so uh, mobile will be working eventually probably in the next month it'll be a completely 100% functional so that you guys can watch it without going to major league play or major league gaming.com uh, but I actually have to cut out this commentary I have to go play my tournament match uh, my teammates are yelling downstairs for me so let me know in the comments below what you guys think about league play not being in Call of Duty Ghost I really want to do hear from you guys uh, let's get I, I really do read all the comments uh, so if you guys want to make like this in, like an open forum, I, I really would appreciate you guys commenting. Let's get a discussion going. What do you think uh, about League Play not being in Black Ops or Call of Duty Ghosts? Is it good? Is it bad? What are you going to do with your spare time? Uh, just let me know. So uh, come check out the live stream. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to let the gameplay finish out. End up going 94-2. and two. Uh, Probably one of my best games. So thank you guys so much. And YouTube. We'll see you at Fudge and later. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the game. Swarm inbound. UAV inbound. Losing A. 